Hey guys, before the video starts, I just want to give a quick thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring the video. If you guys are looking to build a website, be sure to go to squarespace.com forward slash Moz, more on that later on in the video, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, what's up, it's Moz here, and welcome back to another video. So, a few months back, I actually made a video on the best free video editing softwares, and a lot of you guys loved it. I think it has like almost 600,000 views right now, which is insane, and I've seen a ton of you guys commenting saying that you guys want me to make a similar video to that, but for the best free photo editing softwares, so that's what today's video is going to be about. I personally use Photoshop to edit my thumbnails and pictures, but I know softwares like that can be really expensive, so I thought I'd share some of these free options with you guys since they're actually pretty good and you can avoid paying any money at all. A couple of the tools I mentioned in the video will be similar to Photoshop, but don't worry, if you're strictly looking for just photo editing softwares, you can still edit photos on those as well. Before I get started, please do hit that like button if you guys do end up enjoying the video and want to see more videos like it. Also, while you guys are doing that, in the last video I did ask you guys to comment what kind of videos you make. A ton of people found other people to collaborate with in the comment section below, and maybe you guys can find someone too in this video as well. So let's do that again, drop a comment below what kind of videos you make, because this can be a really cool way to meet some new people. Anyways, while you guys are doing that, let me get started with talking about some of the softwares. Now I won't really be able to show you guys how each software works, but I'll mention the name and talk about it just briefly, but if you guys do want me to make like a full tutorial on any of these softwares, please do comment it below and I'll get on that as soon as I can. But anyways, the first free photo editing software that I'm going to be talking about is Pixlr, and if you're a subscriber of mine, then you definitely have seen me make some thumbnail tutorials with this website before. I personally think that the best way to describe this software is that it's basically a free version of Photoshop, but available online instead of downloading a program for it. This is incredibly handy in case you guys have like a slow computer or maybe you just don't want to download anything on your computer in general. You just go to the Pixlr website and you can get right at it immediately. And if you're interested in learning more about how to actually use the software, definitely look up some tutorials on YouTube. I've made a couple of them and I'm sure you guys are going to get the hang of it really quickly. Anyways, moving on from that, we've got GIMP. And this is something that I think is an amazing photo editing software and it's truly up to par with some of the big names like Photoshop and Lightroom. Like the title says, all these softwares are going to be 100% free but can be kind of hard to learn. So definitely go ahead and look up some tutorials on YouTube and you can definitely learn basically anything you want to about any of these softwares. Anyways, back to the software. So I've seen a ton of people actually make channels dedicated to helping other people design on GIMP. So feel free to do some research if you guys think you might be interested. GIMP has a ton of tools and features available for you guys to use, including like customizable effects as well. In case you guys are wondering, GIMP does in fact work on both Mac and Windows, and I'm sure it is one of the more well-known free photo editing softwares out there as well. So essentially, like I guess I can give you guys a quick rundown of GIMP. GIMP is actually designed to be perfect for graphic designers, photographers, illustrators, and so much more. They have an insanely like wide, uh, I don't know, like array of tools available for you guys to use and it should be perfect in helping us do literally whatever you want to do whether it's like making a thumbnail for your youtube channel making some channel art making some graphics editing a picture whatever it is gimp definitely has you covered so now we can move on from that and we've got another website based software and this is going to be paint.net now this is a very similar uh, software in the way that pixlr is laid out and um in the sense that it's essentially just like a much lighter and basically like a free version of photoshop of course not all the tools are going to be available for you guys to actually use on both of the sites but the main ones that you guys might need for like editing photos making thumbnails and all that good stuff should be all of available for you guys to use and especially easy to find. Now since these sites have been out for quite a while, like I said before, you guys shouldn't have too much trouble trying to find some tutorials made by like other YouTubers online when you're trying to learn how to actually use these softwares, whether it's like making a thumbnail with GIMP or Pixlr or uh, Paint.net, making some channel art, how to edit pictures, whatever it is, I'm sure you guys will figure it out super quickly. And like I said before, if you guys do want, I can make some really basic tutorials on some of these websites as well. Just comment below which site or software you guys want me to cover and also comment what you guys want me to actually teach you how to do and I can get on that as soon as I can. Do keep in mind I have made some Pixlr thumbnail and channel art tutorials as well so definitely check out my channel for those but anyways to close out the video we have an adobe illustrator alternative and that's going to be inkscape now i'm going to be honest prior to recording this video i did not know much about the software at all until i was actually doing research for it but it's great when you're working with like files like a logo for example i'm sure we've all been there when you're trying to like make something bigger in like photoshop or whatever software but then it gets a bit too pixelated and it basically like ruins the image quality so when you're working with vectors which is exactly what you'll be doing in inkscape you really don't have to worry about pixels because you're able to stretch those files as much as you want since you're ideally using vectors when you're actually like using the software if that makes sense but essentially you're probably gonna be using vectors in case you're like designing merch or like maybe even like a jersey for like an esports team or something like that i know the software won't be used by most people so that's why i want to mention it at the end but anyways guys that really does about wrap it up for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy it. and if you guys do want me to make a mobile version of this video for both android and ios definitely let me know in the comment section below i will be checking out all the comments for this video and while i do that something i want you guys to check out is squarespace it's an all-in-one platform that lets you guys actually build your own website basically you can build your site and buy a domain all from squarespace within just a few clicks. They have over 200 top level domains available for you guys to actually pick from, which is like insanely nice. So in case you guys want like a .com website, a .net, a .live, or really anything, you have a huge list available for you guys to pick from. One of my favorite things about Squarespace is that there's literally no plugins required to actually build your website. They've been publishing websites for over 10 years now, which is insane. So they know exactly what they're doing and have made it insanely easy for basically anyone to start building their website. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash moz for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Anyways guys, like I said before, that's about it for the video. If you 
guys did enjoy and want to see more videos like it, then please do hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We are on the way to 200,000 subscribers, and all help is appreciated. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.